What's going on guys? Radio Graffiti here, and today I want to talk to you guys about Black Adam, the new DC movie that just came out today. Now for this review, I will be doing a spoiler review, so if you want a spoiler review, go over here and check that out on my channel. But don't worry, I will be as closed-lipped as I can for this review, unlike The Rock, who's been spoiling it. But yeah, Black Adam is a okay movie overall. There's a lot of characters, well, there's a couple characters I like, but the rest of them are pretty just forgettable, bland characters. I mean, if I had to say any standouts, obviously Black Adam is a standout. I also think Dr. Fate and Hawkman were pretty good in this movie. Those are characters who I'd like to see return in future films. I felt Cyclone and Adam Smasher were pretty forgettable. A lot of the action is kind of just mindless nonsense that has nothing to do with the story at all. It just kind of happens with no consequences at all. It's like you're just watching nothing. And the movie does come off a lot like uh, Shazam, Man of Steel. It just feels like it rips off a lot from other comic book movies that we've already seen. But that might just be because we've had so many comic book movies now that this movie feels like it's ripping off a lot of it. Like there's scenes that remind me of Man of Steel, Shazam, Captain America 1, Iron Man 1. So that kind of takes me out of the movie every now and then whenever. It suddenly kind of reminds me of similar scenes. But besides that... The movie is a fun ride overall. Like, all the lo there's a lot of action that pops off in this movie. After a certain point, it gets to where there's more action than there is, like, you know, kind of the usual talking sort of dialogue scenes. It's kind of just, like, action-packed all throughout. So, I kind of enjoyed that. It made it go by a little quicker, even though a lot of it was kind of just nonsense. How's the Rockets Black Item? I mean, it would have helped if he at least could put on a wig, grow out his hair, change his voice do something different because throughout the movie he kind of just has this dull look on his face like he's just bored and it's just like no emotion really throughout the film you don't really learn a lot about his character really all the characters in here are pretty flat i would like to learn more about a couple of different ones and the beginning is kind of bad it takes a while to get the movie really going i say the first 15 minutes are pretty cringy but after that it starts getting better as it goes along so overall, not being able to go into much detail, I'd say Black Adam. It's an okay movie. If you're interested in seeing it, I definitely would say go check it out. It's not the worst movie ever. It's not even the worst comic kind of movie of the year. I'd say it's probably better than Thor 4. I haven't seen Morbius, but it's probably better than that too because I heard that movie was terrible. So there you go. It's fun, it's action facts, but keep in mind there's a lot of deaths that happen in this movie. So if you're bringing kids, you may want to reconsider. Black Adam's not really a superhero, per se. He's always been like an anti-hero, so keep that in mind when coming here. But yeah, that is my spoiler-free thoughts on Black Adam. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Are you excited to see this movie? Are you going to wait for streaming? Let me know how you're going to watch the movie down below.